What's going on my fellow residents, it's me to Frozen Cavern, and today I have a pretty big update video. So, number one, I have to say, thank you guys for 1,000 subscribers. Finally, being able to actually hit that number is pretty insane and is a very major milestone for a lot of YouTubers, so I'm very happy to have been able to have gotten it, especially after doing this for about four-ish years four plus years now to some people that may seem like a long time and to other people that may seem like a pretty short amount of time but regardless it's still a very rewarding thing to accomplish being able to get to 1000 subscribers is amazing and i do feel like a very big reason is because of the content change that i made a good while back about eight months ago because eight months ago I was a let's player and back then most of my let's plays didn't really do too good in terms of views for the amount of subscribers that I had that being around 500 and also at the same time I was moving into college and I would have less time to actually work on videos in terms of let's plays so I decided to change up what I was doing and I decided to start doing these review videos and with the first one Everyone really loved that video and I've kind of have just been doing them ever since then and I'm glad that they have done as well as they have been because otherwise I'd either have to continue doing Let's Plays which I would have been fine with but at the same time they just wouldn't get the amount of views that I would want to have at that rate and the other option would just be stop doing YouTube entirely because if I were to do discussions I feel like I'd be too inconsistent at making uh, content in order to actually have any form of growth and a lot of other things that I did as well on YouTube didn't really sustain many views either so again I'm very glad that I am able to do these reviews now because they're not as time consuming as Let's Plays and they're not nearly as stressful. They're still pretty stressful sometimes, but not as stressful as Let's Plays because I had to constantly uh, boost those out every single day. But in terms of the reviews, while I do still have to work on them just about every day, I'm able to have more time on them and I don't have to worry too much. I have a little bit of a uh, window when it comes to uploading my videos. I usually just upload them on the weekend, being Friday to Sunday. That way I have uh, those two backup days, Saturday and Sunday, in case I'm not able to have the video out on Friday, which is usually the day that I just uh, have the video uploaded. So again, I get a lot more time on my hands. It's less stressful for me, and I'm really just able to have about as much fun with that as I am with my Let's Plays. Am I going to miss doing Let's Plays? A part of me always will, because that's how I got halfway to a thousand subscribers it's still ingrained in my youtube history but am i still glad that i made this change i am indeed and again with the growth it's insane that within eight months i managed to double the number that i had before when i was doing my let's plays so i'm kind of expecting the numbers to just fly by now because one thing that i feel is pretty common is that your hardest milestones to get are your first 100 and your first 1000 because your first 100 is really trying to see if you have any form of future with content creation in general, like if that's up to you at all. And then after that first 100, it's really seeing if you can get consistency down, if you can get quality down as well. And again, showing people that you can have a good handle on this. And then the views and subs after 1000 kind of just tunnels in a lot faster than most of the time before that, because a good amount of the time, there were times where I was just stagnant at like a certain number for a while and that could easily happen after 1k as well but it was really common back then i don't know about the future but who knows but again thank you guys for 1000 subscribers now that's not the only thing for this update there is going to be a good amount i don't really upload updates very often i just realized but regardless uh plenty more other stuff so for number one because of the whole 1000 subscriber thing of course I have to have a special for it, and that will be my next review video which is going to be out next week, hopefully on Friday. If it's not Friday, then of course Saturday and Sunday, as I've already told you guys. And I'm gonna leave what game it is a secret until of course the actual video comes out, but regardless, make sure you get hyped for it because again, it's my 1k special, so I had to make sure it was something really, really special, and I hope you guys enjoy it. And also, I want to ask, do you guys want me to occasionally do modern releases or anything like that because one game that I'm kind of wanting to do 
is Under Night and Birth because that's uh, going to be a major spotlight at EVO this year and I want to have my review for that around the same time as that so if you guys want me to do modern games then that's definitely one that I plan on doing or would want to do but if you guys want me to just stick with the license based games then that's perfectly fine I still have plenty of those to go around but at the same time it does also spice things up a little bit and I would be more willing to do them however the main deterrent for me is that I've done three modern ish releases in the past two of them being like a week or two weeks after the initial release of the game and they haven't really done too well. Kingdom Hearts 3, that did a little bit well, but considering that at the time I did a good amount of Kingdom Hearts videos, it was a little bit upsetting that I didn't get as many views as I thought I would for that video. And then Spyro is one of my least viewed review videos as compared to plenty of other ones after that that have well over 200, well over 300 plus views, which is really surprising. And that game released around November and it's now July so that's the main reason I've been so distant away from doing modern releases because more often than not they don't really get views all that much but again if you guys want me to do them then let me know and one way you can let me know is with my community tab because once you get a thousand subscribers you also get a community tab so I will have a poll in my community tab that you can go to where you can answer yes or no for the modern releases thing because again I would love to do a review for Undernight especially with Evil coming up that would be a very prime time to do a review for Undernight and Birth. By the way I'd also like to do a Q&A video. I don't know how much attention that's gonna get at all but again in my community tab I'll also put something about that so if you guys have any questions you want to ask me then you could just ask me on that and I can try and answer them and make that into a video so that you guys could get to know a little bit more about me but not too much youtubers always have to have that little boundary between the creator and the viewers other than that i don't really have too much else that i really need to mention for right now other than i don't really know when i'm going to have other update videos because i think the last time i actually had an update video was back when i was changing up my content so yeah don't know when the next update video is gonna be it's been almost a year since the last update video which is surprising but once more, thank you guys for 1,000 subscribers and to many more within the coming months and however long I'm going to be doing these review videos until you guys get tired of me and all of my lore. But regardless, until next video, take care.